Wingman, this is Tally Mouse. Today I will be showing you a step-by-step -step guide for setting up the Pimax Crystal's eye tracking and dynamic foveated rendering to function correctly with DCS World using OpenXR Toolkit, Pimax XR, QuadViews and QuadViews Companion. However, firstly, there are a couple of things we need to do in Windows beforehand. We will disable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, or HAGS. So right-click on the Start button and select Settings. System Display Graphics Change Default Graphics Settings and then turn off Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. You will need to reboot your PC at this time. Once rebooted, click Show Hidden Icons and open NVIDIA Control Panel. Under Manage 3D Settings, find Power Management Mode and set it to prefer maximum performance. Leave everything else as default. However, if you have a particularly high-end CPU, you may wish to change virtual reality pre-rendered frames to two or three. Otherwise, ensure that it is at its default value of one. Next, go to OpenXR Toolkit's GitHub page and download and install the latest version. Go to Pimax XR's GitHub page and do the same. Then go to QuadView's GitHub page, read through the very useful guide, and then install. Finally, install QuadViews Companion. All links are provided in the description below. Be sure to install all of the software to its default installation directory, avoiding, where possible, placing the software in alternate locations. Next, Start OpenXR Toolkit and enable Safe Mode. Eye tracking and DFR is only supported under the multi-threaded version of DCS World, so you should place a shortcut to the multi-threaded executable along with the following command line arguments. Minus minus force underscore enable underscore VR and minus minus force underscore open XR. This ensures that SteamVR is not called when opening DCS in VR mode. Note that the DCS executable for the multi-threaded version is located in a different subfolder called bin MT. You will need to modify the command line to match the location of your DCS installation on your system. Next, Open Pimax Play, turn on your crystal, and go into Device Settings. Ensure that eye tracking is enabled, and if you already know your interpupillary distance, you may wish to disable Auto IBT Adjustment and enter the value manually. I would recommend setting the local dimming level to 
highlight. And then ensuring that Pimax play settings for DCS are set to maximum resolution, DFR off, and smart smoothing off, in addition to hidden area mask off. Remember to click apply. Now start DCS from the new shortcut to the multi-threaded executable. And press Ctrl plus F2 to enter OpenXR toolkits on screen display. Use left control along with F1, F2 and F3 to navigate the menu. Go to the last tab using Ctrl F3. Then navigate down to restore defaults. Then press Ctrl F3 and Ctrl F3 again to confirm. Once complete, exit out of DCS. Start OpenXR Toolkit and uncheck Enable Safe Mode. Start Pimax XR, ensuring that Pimax XR is selected as the OpenXR runtime. Enable Eye Tracking and also enable Quad Views Rendering. Start Quad Views Companion, which will automatically create a user configuration file based on Quad Views default values. You may wish to change the vertical offset to minus 10. Note the debug section where we can choose to only render the foveate region or to see two purple dots which show where we're looking in DCS. We will be using one of these settings for one of the final steps of this guide. Start DCS again and press Ctrl plus F2 to open so that the timer can clear the on-screen display. Go into DCS settings and into the VR tab. Ensure that Bloom effect is unchecked. And in the System tab, ensure that Lens Effects is set to None, as both of these can conflict with Quad Views. Press OK and exit DCS again. In Quad Views Companion, select Enable Focus View in the Debug Options and click Apply. Start DCS and you will now be able to see only the foveate region following your eyes. Turning your head while fixing your gaze on the menu results in the following effect and the eye tracking continues as you look around the hangar. Well done! Eye tracking and dynamic foveate rendering are now working correctly. Exit DCS and remember to uncheck Focus View in Quad View's Companion and modify the settings as you desire. An explanation of each setting is described in the tooltips to the side of each setting. That's it, you're all done. If you found this step-by-step -step guide useful, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be informed of the most up-to-date content. See you next time, wingmen.